Assalamu alaikum and good morning. Welcome once again to this online session with the same topic that is the name of same lesson. What is the universal theme of the wise old woman? So now we will talk about the theme of this play, the wise old woman. Now folk tale that we discuss, folk tale the universal theme is to respect old people and appreciate their wisdom. Identify the parallel episodes in the wise old woman. The three riddles are the parallel episodes. Riddles like question, like puzzles. What do these parallel episodes contribute to the folk tale? They aid to complication, they aid to the complications and help rise the action to reach the climax of the story. So th there is the universal theme is respect all people, appreciate their wisdom and their experience. So now here three riddles it means three puzzles are being solved by that old woman. Now characterization, plot. The, the Lord asked the young farmer who helped him and he says the truth about his mother. Because he, he hide his mother but later on he exposed and he said the truth that where his mother is. The mother answered the three riddles and saves the village. How did she save? Earlier we discussed a little bit. Today we will talk about more. The Lord admits his mistake and changes the decree. It means the decision. The Lord and his men fail to answer the riddle. And who, who succeeded? only the old woman, the, the mother of that young farmer. So what is the decree announced by the village law? So the decree is that any person over 70 must be taken to the mountains and left to die. That was the decree. That was the announcement and that was the order of that law. Above 70 anyone, take them to the mountain and let them die alone because they are good for nothing. So how do the villagers react to that degree? What was the reaction of the villagers, the people in that village? The villager protest that it is a dreadful decree and that the Lord is cruel. Dreadful decree that it is a very dangerous and is cruelty, that he is a cruel man. So how do the farmer force to do with his mother, that young farmer? He is forced to take her to the mountain and leave her to die. So that young farmer also was, he is forced to take him and to abandon and to leave his mother in the mountain because that was a decree, that was order. So what is the mother doing while going up the hill and why? The mother is breaking twigs to mark the road for her son to be able to go back to the village after darkness. So his mother was very clever and she was very smart because she, she has experience. And knowledge comes through experiences. So how does the young farmer solve his problem temporarily? He digs a room under the kitchen and hides his mother there. He just, got, you know, he's, he, he solves the problem. That is for the time being, temporary, not permanent solution. He hides his mother. What are Lord Haiga's demands or Haiga's demands? It means the name of their law. 
Lord Hega demands that they must solve three riddles before three moons are up and three suns are down. It means they got only three days that you people have to solve these three puzzles, these three questions. What are the three riddles? The three riddles are to make a drum that sounds without beating. One, two, to pass a thread of silk through a log. And third, and a rope of ashes that does not crumble. So how does the Lord of the village try to solve the riddles? So first of all, he asked the guards and his wise men. Then he finally asked the people of the village. How did the old woman solve the riddles? First, she soaks the rope in salted water and dries it, then burns it. So it doesn't crumble. That was the first solution. Take the ropes and and soaps means inside the water, in salted water, and then dries it and then burns it. So it doesn't crumble. That is the issue. That was the first solution. Next, she ties a silk rope to the leg of an ant and place some sugar at the end of the crooked log and the ant passes the thread through the log. So, so she, the, the, the ant literally covers up, you know, inside that holes, inside the, the log, inside holes, all the logs in the log, it means the piece of that wood. Finally, she places a bumblebee inside a paper drum. So whenever they moved so so the bumblebee you know it, it produced a voice and without without uh, without striking the drum it just uh, produces the, 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 the voice how does the lord of the village reward the young farmer he gives the young farmer three bags of gold and saves his mom from dying because the young farmer's mother solved the problem and the, the, the Lord gets happy. So consequently, he gives him money in the form of gold and let free his mother. So how does the Lord of the village change his mind about his decree? Now he understands that all people are useful and important that they that we should treat them with respect. He, he gets the lesson. What is the relationship between the young farmer and his mother? They love and care for each other. They have a close relationship between mother and son. Do you think the young farmer could be a real person? Why? Yes, he could. Because many people would refuse to get rid of their parents. And many have strong relationships with them. He could be because a lot of people love their parents, so how can they hand over their parents to a cruel authority or people to get rid of them? So he could. What do the characters in the wise old woman symbolize? The young farmer symbolizes honesty, the mother symbolizes wisdom, and the lord of the village symbolizes cruelty. These are simple. Because the, the, the embodiment of their qualities, they are the embodiment of their own qualities. The farmer is honest man, so he is he, he's a symbol of honesty, and the mother is a symbol of wisdom, and the lord of the village is a symbol of cruelty. It means he was unjust, so he is cruelty. What is the point of view of the story? Point of view of the story is third person. In the third person, like he, she, it, they. In the third person, it is, it is being uh, described. In what ways does the old woman affect her society? She saves the society and keeps the people free. She proves to the cruel lord that old people are the real assets of the society and causes him to change the decree. Real asset means the property, that these are our property. The real property, these are our honor, is not a burden. We shouldn't consider them a burden upon our children. 
but rather it's our honor that we should respect our honor in the form of our old people, in the form of our senior people and parents. So that would give us benefit and that would just uh, guide us on the right path. Homework. Dear student, please read the following text pages carefully from your textbook. Pages 164 and 165. Thank you very much and have a nice day.